Since the launch of ATV-1 Jules Verne in 2008, the European Space Agency has flown five successful ATV missions to the International Space Station, the ISS. With these five automated transfer vehicles, ESA has sent over 30 tons worth of supplies, equipment and water to the ISS. A truly great accomplishment for a program that was first initiated over 20 years ago. It started life as, uh, as a very low level funding for a general studies program to, to look at a, a, a means of logistics transportation in general terms, uh, not even associated with space stations or anything. And in the, the late 80s, it was taken over from uh, the general studies program by the uh, directorate of uh, what was then Space Transportation Systems. And we started to think of it in terms of uh, a potential basis for providing logistics to, uh, to the space station, which uh, we were already uh, working on. Today, ATV has the biggest cargo capacity of all vehicles supplying the ISS. It's also the most ingenious of them all, with its automated docking system, as well as the option of late access cargo, to fully answer the needs of the International Space Station. The success of the ATV program can be attributed to a combination of several aspects. Well, there are three aspects of lessons learned. First of all, what does it mean for ESA, what does it mean for our industrial partners, and what does it mean for the international relationship? So, ESA um, has, of course, uh, gained a lot of experience in the design and in the operation of such a huge spacecraft. The design and technology of the ATV represent another major achievement made by ESA and European industry. For example, ATV's complex guidance navigation system makes it the only spacecraft able to dock using optical sensors and with a precision of just two centimeters. The program also provided ESA and European industry with the opportunity to take part in the International Space Station program as part of a barter agreement. Instead of paying in cash, ESA provided ATV cargo missions while supporting the development of new technologies in European industry. Bartering agreements like that are a win-win situation. NASA get what they need, they, otherwise they would have to provide their own logistics. We win because we're not paying uh, dollars to, to America, we, uh, we're paying the corresponding dollars to European industry who are growing up. Uh. Together with industry, ESA will continue to push the boundaries of technological achievement and play a key role in manned spaceflight, thanks to the new horizons already opened up by the ATV. Using ATV as a basis, ESA is now collaborating with NASA to develop the service module of NASA's new Orion capsule. Without this experience of ATV, I'm sure we would have never been in this position. And indeed, we got uh, into the critical path of the design of this vehicle. The development of this multi-purpose crew vehicle is key for spaceflight in the years to come. This smart, flexible and sizable cargo ship has so much to offer that future space exploration will also continue to benefit from ATV's heritage.